Hey everyone, Steph here from Mojo Travel. Greetings from Germany. Yes, I'm still here and I'm still stuck. So, what I'm up to? Well, first of all, I'm drinking plenty of beer. That goes really well. However, my whole video stuff is gone really badly. I assume you use the same camera as I do, all the GoPros. I have here a GoPro 7. Hold on, where's the label? Here it is. I have my GoPro 8. And I also have the GoPro 9. Little side note, do not buy this camera. It's definitely not worth it. So what does happen? Well, I'm having real trouble with the sound. I have a lot of blackouts, I have files crashing on me, I lost whole SD cards. I put it down to the weather or pretty much my GoPro scope it long in the teeth. So I used this one here, the 8, for, well, since day one they came out and did literally hundreds of hours filming on that. So I can understand they, you know, they last not forever. However, then I decided to buy myself the 9 and that's the biggest disappointment. I had so far um, two SD card failures, I had recording failures, I had sound failures, the thing froze many times and I lost a lot of files. So, be honest, I'm not too chuffed about them. So, digging around and looking for a solution, I came up with using my Insta 360R. Now obviously that is a action camera in its own right. However, I don't use it like that. One of the big problems with using a GoPro to making videos is you have to mount it to the helmet. It doesn't matter where you put them on the side, on the front, on the top, whatever. However, it all relies on the position of your head. If you look up, if you look down, sorry, up and down that's the one the picture moves so one workaround was always for me to use this 4k setting so i have a lot of surplus video where i can zoom in move it up and down in post-production and you get a relatively good image now coming back to these cameras obviously if i would use it like that then I would have the same results. However, because of the nature of these 360 cameras, you just pull them apart and you use the 360 mod. Put that thing together again. Oh, where are we? Here we go. Well, it helps if you put it on the right way around. And or snap it together somehow. Here we go. Now you have a 360 camera. Now you say, okay, I have the camera in front of my motorbike helmet. Why do you use a 360 camera? Well, let me show you. On my laptop here, I do have a little video I shot this afternoon and I disabled the sound so it doesn't cause a racket. But if you have a look, the 360 video is right in there now. And then, let me put my glasses on, can't see without them. You have your effect setting, the GoPro FX Reframe plugin. Now with that plugin, I can move the image the way I want it. I go up, I can go down. I can set keyframes, I can level it out, I can zoom in, and I have a bit of a limited view to do some B-roll on the side, and with a little bit of animation you get a really good video together. So if I now set that up like this, I think I have a perfect horizon line. And because of the feature you have in 
um, the software where you can actually let me show you on here source settings you can say that you lock the direction this is basically whatever you set as a 360 default direction the image will stay like that you can still move it around you can still do whatever you want to do with it but as a default direction that will stay like that so when we have a look now you have a really nice video the quality is great I export it as 1080 anyway the colors are great I think it is actually the perfect camera now what are the drawbacks well first of all editing 360 is a bit more time-consuming especially if you use the plugin in uh, Premiere it is way more sluggish than if you use the native app who comes with the 360 camera and be fair, nine times out of ten, I think you're perfectly fine to do your editing first in the app, then export the video, slam it in a Premiere and do the rest to it. So I thought I'd just give it a go in Premiere directly and see how it's going. I'm editing on a laptop and so far I'm getting used to the workflow and I really can't complain about it. Check this little video out and let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Right guys, that's it from me now. If you're in the market for the action camera this Christmas, check out these 360s. I think they are the future. I think the days of the normal action cameras are numbered. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I wish you all the very best and speak to you soon. Ride safe and stay safe. Bye.